Okay, let's work on problem 630. Here we have another normal distribution, and we are asked to find uh, the probabilities of these, these problems here. Okay, so in, our, in this normal model, it says the distribution of white blood cell count per cubic millimeter is approximately normal with a mean of 7,500. So our mu is 7,500, and our standard deviation is 1,750. This is for healthy people. It says, what's the probability that a randomly selected person will have a white blood cell count between 7,000 and 10,000? Okay, so let's work through problem A. So we're gonna draw a normal, normal model centered at 7,500. We wanna know between 7,000, 7,000 is less than 7,500 and 10,000, 10,000 is more. We want to find the area of being in between here and here, okay? And so this is gonna involve doing a few little calculations. First, we're gonna find the area to the left of 10,000, and then we're gonna find the area to the left of 7,000. And I'm gonna take the difference between this piece, and I'm gonna subtract off this, this triangle off of here, so what I'm writing is the area to the left of 10,000 minus the area to the left of 7,000 will give me the area that I want right here. Okay, so let's work on the area to the left of 10,000. So we're going to do z is equal to 10,000 minus 7,500 divided by 1750. We're going to get a z-score there. 10,000 minus 7,500 divided by 1,750. I get a z-score of 1.428. When I round that, it's going to be 1.43. So I get a z-score of 1.43. Let's find the z-score over here. Z is going to be 7,000 minus 7,500 divided by the standard deviation of 1,750. 7,000 minus 7,500 divided by 1750. I get a z-score of negative 0.29, rounding off to two decimal places, negative 0.29. So we're gonna find the area to the left of each of these things from the table, so I look up positive 1.43, and I find that the area to the left of 1.43 is 0.9236. I do the same thing over here with the negative side of the table. I'm gonna find the area to the left of negative 0 0.29. 0 0.2 and 09 is the last column, 0.3859. Point three eight five nine. So the area to the left here so the area in between is going to be the difference between these. Point nine two three six minus point three eight five nine. I get an area in between of 0.5377. And that is my answer right here. Okay, we're going to work through part B of the problem. Very similar. In the middle, we have 7,500. And I'm going all the way down here to 5,000, and all the way up here to 12,000. And we want to know what's the area in between. So I would venture to guess that quite a few people are going to be in between these, these two ranges. And it's going to involve finding, just like we did before, we're going to find the z-score for 12,000. 
find the area to the left of that. I'm going to find the z-score for 5,000. Okay, so for 12,000, minus 7,500 divided by 1,750, I get a z-score of 2.57. Okay, for 5,000, z is equal to 5,000 minus 7,500 divided by 1750. I get a z-score of negative 1.43. Okay, we're going to look these up in our table to find the areas to the left of each of these. So I look up 2.57, so I go to 2.5, and the column 0 0.07 is this column, so again, 2.507.9949, that's the area to the left. Okay, let's find the area to the left of negative 1.43. Negative 1.4, column 0, 03, 0 0.0764. So the area between, area between is 0.9949, whoops, 0.9949 minus 0.0764. and I get the area in between is 0.9185. So indeed, over 90%. Okay, and lastly, it says, what's the probability that a randomly selected person will have a white blood cell count of more than 10,000? Here we're just looking for the area to the right. Well, we see that we've already calculated the z-score for 10,000. Z, 10,000 minus 7,500. We've already done the work. We see that the z-score is positive 1.43. And when we looked that up in the table, the area to the left was 0.9236. But that's the area over here. What we want is the area over here, because it's saying more than 10,000. So here we're going to do 1 minus 0.9236, 1 minus 0.9236, and the area that I get is 0 0.0764. And that's our answer to this problem. This has been helpful.